All right, today we're going to be talking about how to install mods for Grand Theft Auto. We're going to start off by installing or telling you how to install a trainer as well as the files allowing you to install third party mods, which we'll talk about second. And uh, third, we're going to finally talk about how to uninstall the mods so you can go ahead and go play uh, online. It's all very easy, and um, the first thing you're going to want to do is head over here to devc.com slash gta5 slash scripthookv. I'm going to put all the links into the description, so go ahead to that first link and um, just uh, go over to uh, download right here. See where my mouse is. Okay, go ahead and click download. It's going to download. All right, and the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, extract it. I've already gone ahead and done that. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is just ensure that you've extracted and you have three folders here. Go ahead and copy those folders and then go over to your Steam library and um, go ahead to your library, right click on Grand Theft Auto. Go to, uh, we want to go to the, uh, the game directory and the easiest way to do this is to uh, right click on Grand Theft Auto open up local files tab and then click browse local files. That will take you to the default Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, folder. What you're going to want to do next is paste in the uh, three files that we just downloaded. And uh, essentially, what this is doing is you're putting the mod, the, the file that allows for the mods, as well as the, uh, the actual trainer that comes with that uh, folder. Remember, this is a single player trainer, so we do not want to use it on um, online mode. Congratulations, you just uh, finished the first step and have activated a trainer. So now I'm going to go ahead and launch the game, and, and we should have a full trainer menu, and we'll go through that in a minute. But when you're at the main menu, once again, it is crucial that you click story mode and not online. Alright, welcome back. Now we've successfully loaded into a single player um, story mode, it's called. Um, and we're going to verify that what we just did worked. So all you need to do to bring up the trainer menu is to hit F4. And as you can see, it pops right up. Now your first intuition is going to be either to try and use the arrow keys to move around or the scroll wheel, or maybe even hitting escape. None of those buttons have any effect. So in order to control this menu, you use the number pad, not the numbers above your uh, QWERTY keyboard, but the number pad on the right side. So 4 is uh, left, 6 is right, 2 is down, and 8 is up. So let's, oh, and 5 is enter to select things. So let's just go through and see some of the options that we have. So go ahead and hit 5, and you'll see that there's a lot of player options. So let's change the skin. We can do, uh, we can do a boar, we can do a chimp, we can do, well this is very funny, a cow. There's a, uh, a coyote. There's a deer, there's a fish, and I died because fish cannot live on land. Alright, continuing on, we have a hen. Um, okay, so let's go back. So in order to go back in this menu, you can either hit F4 or Backspace. I prefer Backspace because it's closer to the other buttons. So let's, uh, we have a teleport feature. Let's, let's try teleporting to an island. Elysian Island. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I think we're there now. Alright, some more uh, things we have is to reset skin. Well, no. Alright, we can add cash. Let me uh, actually go back to Michael because some of this, or uh, Franklin, because some of this stuff isn't really working properly. Okay, so going back to what we were saying, we can add cash. Gives us a million each time we hit it. Uh, we can move the wanted up we can bring it down. Uh, you can turn it so you're never wanted. You can make the player invincible so he doesn't die. Um, unlimited ability, for instance. So if you want to be use Franklin's slow motion constantly forever, that would be what you use. Uh, noiseless, I'm not sure exactly what that is. Swim fast, fast run, and super jump are all self-explanatory. Going back to the next menu, we have weapons. Get all weapons. So now we have... All weapons. As you can see, we have a Gauss rifle. Very cool, very cool. 
And using this menu further, we can uh, remove our... There we go. Now we don't have to worry about it at all. Alright, going back to weapons. Uh, no reload will basically give you an infinite magazine, so you never have to reload. Fire ammo gives you incendiary ammo. This uh, gun is not the best demonstrator of that because it's already... But as you can see, it starts fires wherever it hits. Okay. We can do explosive ammo. We can do a combination of both. Explosive ammo, as you can imagine, blows things up. Explosive melee I haven't tested out, but I can only assume that a melee weapon causes an explosion. And vehicle rockets is, as you've seen in some of the spy movies, you shoot rockets out of the front of your car. Okay, next we have the car spawner, or the vehicle menu. So you use the up and down, 8 and 2, to go through, and uh, 6 and 4 to select the different vehicles. And you just go ahead and spawn something. There we go. Um... We also have paint random. When if you're in a vehicle, it'll give it a random paint combination. You have the fix option, which will instantly fix a vehicle. Uh, you can do stuff with the seat belt. You can make the vehicle invincible. You can make the tires bulletproof, and you can make the car faster. Going down to the world, we have some physics options as well as some other world options. So we can do moon physics, which actually turns the gravity off completely. Random cops, which will kind of turn off the cops that are patrolling boats, things like that. Time is interesting. You can move it forward and backward by increments of one hour. You can pause the clock entirely. Um, and I'm not sure what the last option does, but it uh, I'm sure we could find out by checking the, uh, the description. And then we have some weather options. So let's mess with some of them. Extra sunny, clear. Let me get a better, a better view for this. All right. Extra sunny, clear, cloudy, smog, foggy, overcast, rain, thunder, clearing, neutral, snow, blizzard, snow light, which means light snow, and Christmas. Now, I didn't really see much of a difference between Christmas and blizzard. To me, it actually was identical but maybe there's something I'm missing. And then finally we have miscellaneous options. So if you're in a car and you're listening, listening to the radio, you can use this option. Remember, you select each option by using the five key on the number pad. Um, also, you can hide the, the heads up display. So if you're recording a video and you don't want the mini map, this is a great way to do it. All right, this covers the, uh, the first step of this video, which is installing the uh, script hook uh, V and using the built-in trainer. Next, we're going to cover the uh, addition of miscellaneous mod. In this next section, we will be installing a third-party mod, such as things like the gravity gun, um, angry planes. There's tons of community-made mods that give members. So if we head over to the second link, which is gta5-mods.com, we can actually take advantage of some of the content that has been created by the wonderful community and um, the first thing you're going to do is uh, head over to the script section. Um, we have a few options here. You can kind of just see what's new. Um, you can also sort it so we can do like highest rated, um, let's say from the last month. And we have a couple things here, super yacht, uh, weapons on back, grab anything, just fun things that can make uh, gameplay interesting and maybe help you record some fun footage. But uh, right off the bat, let's go ahead and download a mod, and I will show you how to install a third-party mod to work with Script Hook V. So let's go ahead and uh, search for the Need for Speed uh, gauge. Okay, so we're going to open up this link. Now, just a quick, quick reminder: um, people do take time to make these, so you, if you're down for it and if you can afford it you might want to consider donating with PayPal to some of the developers in order to support and maybe encourage further development of some cool mods um, but just for our purposes right now we're just going to go ahead and download it and uh, see if it works so go ahead and download the file okay all right so right here we have two files we have an ASI file and uh, 
another file, which is the uh, configuration settings. So go ahead and copy these two. Uh, there's also a readme, so let's go ahead and check that out first. So right now it says to find your GTA installation folder or the installation directory that we found earlier. Um, it's where the GTA 5 EXE is. Also, it says it requires script hook V, which we installed already, and it's telling us, like I said, to ins uh, extract nfsgage.asi and nfsgage.ini into the main game directory. Um, we can also extract the custom gauge folder, which will allow us to change the skins and stuff. So let's uh, also take a look at the controls here, because there are some... Uh, it's always important to read up on the mods you're about to install, so when you do go to use them, you have an idea of if they're working or not, or if you just don't know how to activate them, which happens quite frequently. So it's saying press shift plus multiply, or asterisk, but uh, the only asterisk key is uh, on... Well, the only asterisk key that you can get to without hitting shift by itself is on the number pad. So it looks like we do shift and multiply to open the menu, which allows us to change the speed units from like kilometers to miles per hour. And hitting the same uh, asterisk button on the uh, number pad will, uh, by itself, will hide and show the speedometer. So let's go ahead and extract those files to the directory. So uh, we have it open in WinRAR right now. So uh, we can just go ahead and line this up. And then, oops. And then we can just go ahead and go to our GTA 5 library. OK, so let's go back to Grand Theft Auto, Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. Okay, now we have both of these up. Go ahead and just dump them in there. There you go, easy. All right, the next step now is just to go ahead and launch the game. And All right, we've now loaded into the game and we are ready to see if the mod that we just installed worked. Um, that being the need for speed gauge set. So let's go ahead and get in the car. The purpose of it is to allow you to, oh, okay, it popped right up. Very cool, very cool. As you can see, it's set in kilometers per hour. For those that want you to um, change it to miles per hour, just remember we checked the readme file and it told us to hit shift and multiply to bring up the menu. Now, I found out that only right shift works, so you have to do right shift and the multiply button on your number pad slash calculator on your keyboard. So let's go ahead and use the number pad as well to navigate and the number five to select. There we go, we have, um, we now have our units in miles per hour and let's go ahead and hit uh, shift and multiply again to close that menu. Okay, so uh, also we read that we could toggle the menu on and off. Oops, probably should change my camera angle, there we go. Um, as you recall, we can make it disappear and reappear by also using the asterisk. Anyway, um, as you can see now, if you're doing like speed challenges and stuff, you don't have to be in first person to monitor just how fast you're going at the time. Gotta work on my driving, I guess. All right, you may be wanting to remove the mod. So uh, right now I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to remove modded files. Uh, and for instance, if you wanted to go play online, uh, you should probably get rid of the extra files you've added to the game directory. So real quick, I'm just going to show you an easy way on how to do that. Go ahead and access your Steam library. Go ahead and right click on Grand Theft Auto 5. Go to Properties. Then click this tab called Local Files. Browse Local Files. This opens our game directory. Since you have added the uh, files after the game was installed, all you need to do is go ahead and sort by date modified. All right, right after here, we see that all of these files were installed today. So all you need to do is go highlight that. And we're going to go ahead and just hit delete. And just like that, you've uninstalled your modifications and you're ready to go play online again. Okay. That is how you install uh, a basic trainer with a lot of options, as well as installing third-party modifications in Grand Theft Auto V for the PC. Remember, this is only for single-player, and um, 
if you're going to uh, go ahead and try and use this online, I cannot vouch for um, if you're going to get banned or not. I have no idea, and I can't speak for that. But that said, with this uh, mod, you are able to have a hell of a lot of fun. Oh, oh they're shooting at me. As you can see, it's quite effective against gang members. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> At least to avenge Franklin. See you next time.